Apple has officially announced a new 14-inch MacBook Pro with the M5 chip. And while the performance gains are kind of insane, this is a bit of a confusing move from Apple. Let's break down everything you need to know. So with the M5 chip, Apple is basically positioning this as the next big leap in AI for the MacBook. Now I know every company nowadays is talking about AI and it's all the hype. And this could be Apple trying to jump on the hype train. Hype aside, Apple has introduced a new GPU with what they call the Neural Accelerator built into each core. Apple claims up to 3.5 times better performance in AI related tasks and up to 1.6 times better graphics. The CPU is also faster and more efficient and the neural engine has also been enhanced, which is crucial for running on-device AI models. What I find particularly interesting is this focus on AI performance. Clearly in an era where on-device AI is becoming essential and Apple wants to make sure that the MacBook is a powerhouse that can do that. In terms of real-world performance with 3D softwares like Blender, Apple says you're getting 6.8 times the performance compared to the M1 chip and 1.7 times faster than the M4. Gamers will see up to 3.2 times higher frames compared to the M1 and 1.6 times higher compared to the M4. See how these comparisons with the M1 make it seem very significant, but when it's compared to the M4, the previous predecessor, it's not that big of a jump. It really is an incremental jump if you think about it that way from the M4 to the M5. Now, which devices actually got the upgrade? This is where things get a bit confusing. So with this M5 chip, there's no M5 Pro, no M5 Max, it's just the M5. And there's only some devices which got this upgrade. So the MacBook Pro 14 inch, just the 14 inch, not the 16 inch, now has the option for the base M5. And again, there's no M5 Pro, so you'd still be getting the M4 Pro or the M4 Max if you wanted to go higher. Notice how there's no mention of the MacBook Air or the iPad Air or even the Mac Mini. And this is where Apple's strategy to me starts feeling a bit weird. Think about it for a second, right? People that are already working with AI and need the higher AI performance already have a higher end MacBook Pro, which is either gonna have a M4 Pro or the M4 Max chip, or maybe even M3 Pro or M3 Max chip, right? Those are the kinds of people that are doing the heavy video editing, running those complex AI models. They already have the machines that they need to get their jobs done. So this isn't really a good reason for someone that already has an M3 Pro, M3 Max, or M4 Pro, M4 Max chip to upgrade because the performance that they have with their machines currently is still comparable to the Space M5 chip. Before we get to who this laptop is really for, I wanna quickly just talk about the Apple Vision Pro. The Apple Vision Pro got bumped from the M2 to the M5, and, and while that should be a significant performance bump, who's buying the Apple Vision Pro right now? If you already want an Apple Vision Pro, you already have it. I doubt there's anyone new that's still waiting to buy a Vision Pro that was waiting for the latest chip to buy it, right? But in case that's you, now might be a good time to buy it since it's got the M5 chip. So now when it comes to upgrades, if you have any of the Pro or Max chips, you definitely don't need to upgrade to the M5 for the M5 specifically. If you have a base M3 or M4 chip and want to focus on AI heavy loads but don't want to spend the extra money for the Pro or Max, this might be a good option for you. But really it comes down to if you have an Intel based Mac or an M1 Mac, this is probably a good time to upgrade. The M5 all in all has great performance and it's going to be a great solid laptop with the MacBook Pro being as good as it is, right? The focus on AI performance in the industry is interesting to see, and Apple is trying its best to make sure that the MacBooks are a powerhouse for AI workloads. If you're in the market for a new laptop, the M5 MacBook Pro 14 inch is a great buy. That is, if you don't already have an M4 Pro or an M3 Pro or Max chip. So that's everything you need to know about the new M5 chip. Let me know in the comments down below if you found this video helpful. Leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.